Catching. What is going on, my weeping wee bats? Welcome back to another episode of the Weep After Hour. Tonight, I have with me Lance. Hey, guys. And Plinchy. What's up? All right. So, last time we were playing Dr. Robo V3, uh, we were finishing up uh, Rontro's uh, social link. We're almost done with Kaide and Gunta as well, and we did a shit ton of love key scenes. Uh, so, oh my uh, it's, God, so much, so much, and it's gonna be more of the same. Uh, we still got four days left before this first round of uh, social link and love making is over. So uh, we'll just get right back into it. <laughs> they got to first. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, something's on your face. I know, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Just your tall, tiny fucking hand. I thought it was mosquito, but smaller than mosquito. He slaps his face and <laughs> slaps your fucking hand. I know, <laughs> my hand just fucking breaks. <laughs> now, no nipples, no hand. Day just gets better and better. Yeah, yeah, you wear small trinkets. Yep, got it. Yeah, this tie is, t tie is tiny. I decided to spend t time today talking about things with Gonta. Because Gonta is the ultimate entomologist, I decided to ask him about his work. Mm. Hey, Gonta, you really are impressive. You know that? Gu Gonta, nothing special. Gonta just listened to what bugs say. Mm, he's always so humble. Sure, he discovers new insect species, but he also develops cultivation methods. And he once discovered a per parasitic worm that was causing diseases and was praised as a hero. You saved so many lives, Gunta. Yes, but Gunta, gentlemen's supposed to help people. Gunta gotta work hard, or even harder, and become true gentlemen. You know, Gonta, you say that, but I know how truly amazing you are. I don't think you need to work so hard to become a gentleman. You're already incredible. But, but Shuichi, Gunta must become gentleman for Forest Family. The reason you developed your ultimate entomologist talent was because your Forest Family taught you so much about insects and animals, right? Yes, that's right. So you should be proud of that, Gonta. No matter what anyone else says, your Forest Family helped you develop into the talented man you are today. That all Gunta need? That's plenty, Gunta. From now on, as long as you work hard as the ultimate entomologist, your family will accept you. Gunta wa. But Gunta no help to anyone right now. You are. You saved me before, remember? I almost fell down the staircase. Oh! oh. Gunta, you're a more amazing person than you think you are. <laughs> Shuichi! Thank you! Gunta, uh, eyes open now! Gunta understand! Gunta learned from you! Gunta gonna get even better at talent he got from Forest Family! But Gunta mi- uh, shit. Gunta still gonna try to become gentleman. <laughs> you shit! <laughs> uh, Gunta wrote this down, but very hard to remember. But why? At first, Gunta do it for Forest Family. But now, Gunta just want to be gentleman. Gunta want to be nice, serious, refined, polite gentleman. That Gunta's goal now. I see. Then I think that's a great goal to have. Mm. Yeah, Gunta work hard to reach goal. After a firm nod, Gunta's expression softened and he looked at me. Arigato. Thank you so much, Shuichi. Gunta understand a lot more because of you. Gunta. Gunta glad he meet Shuichi. Oh shit. Nah, you should have voice over him. <laughs> what a good boy. Gunta took my hand and squeezed it. Like, oh fuck, we squeezed it really hard. And I tried to squeeze back, but it didn't affect him. This is a real bond here. I believe it with all my heart. 
because you can't feel your hand anymore. <laughs> yep, that's the heart. It's the only thing I can feel with now. No nipples, no hand. Should we just a broken man at the end of all this? Yep. <laughs> Pretty much. Raggedy Ann over here. Oh, oh no! There is loins. Gunta, no! Gunta, yes. <laughs> what uh, else Gunta wear? This is Zeus's. Alright, Kaede, let's try to finish you off this time. For real Z's. Okay, bitch. You didn't like a fucking earring, even though you like the fucking bango. What do I give you now? Uh, Simple-minded men. She doesn't wear earrings. It doesn't do, matter. Do my we ears wear look pierced? We can wear Come matching on. earrings. Seen that. You want this stainless tray? <laughs> you want this gum I found on the ground? <laughs> Ugh. Um, I want this shot put ball. <laughs> <laughs> what about oh, those I headphones? Maybe she likes to listen to music, classical oh, yeah. music. She might like headphones. Is, okay, yeah. Oh, it literally says it classical, literally says classical jazz. jazz music. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Suichi, I'm just so ecstatic. I hate this present. You're I never fucking... gonna get that last social. <laughs> I'm deaf, by the way. I thought you fucking knew that. I thought I had been the only one looking at you, but I guess you noticed me too. <laughs> I think that because you gave me such a pretty gift. Yosh, Yosh, Suichi, it's time to get pumped up for for practice. Uh. Yeah, let's do it. Oh no! <sighs> Don't do this. A piano duet. Two people playing piano together. When I was first learning, I didn't get quite get it. But now, it feels nice. I played the low notes while Kaede played the high. Together, we played a melody. Of course, my playing didn't compare, but Kaede carried me. Perhaps that's what gave it a magical sense of unity. At first, I was so focused on Kaede sitting next to me that I couldn't focus. But as we kept playing, it got easier. It felt perfectly natural. It's like Kaede and I have become one. <sighs> After we finished playing, we remained sitting beside one another, basking in it. Ah, you're amazing, Suichi. I can't believe you improved this much in such a little time. Mm. No, I'm not... No, this isn't quite what I want to say. I had a great teacher who showed me the beauty of playing the piano. The beauty of playing the piano? What do you mean? It's so fun to play. I understand why you get entranced by it. <laughs> right? Even though it's just us here right now, someone might hear it and it'll make them smile. That's when you know it's worth it. I was only able to have this great experience because I met you, Kaede. I know that this is an abnormal situation, but I'm still so glad that I met you. I had a great teacher who showed me the beauty of playing the piano. Suichi, I can't believe you said something so embarrassing. Huh? What? But, but. I'm glad I met you. While I was teaching you, I was reminded of how great pianos are. And I started to realize myself, what I can do on the piano. Yeah. Hey, Suichi, when we get out of here, come over to my house. Oh? Uh-huh. You mean it? Your house? Yeah, we can do it on the piano. Of course. Oh? <laughs> of course. Where else? Well, it's just that, I mean, going to your houses. Oh. Well, wait a minute, I didn't mean it like that. I, I want us to perform our duet practice on my favorite piano so you can hear it. Mm. Uh, that's what you meant. I'm sorry, I misunderstood. But I also want to talk to you and watch TV with you. 
What? You know how I said I wanted to become closer to you when we got out of here? And if it's you, I feel like we could get to know each other a lot more. Does that mean... That, that, that's why... That's why... Jeez, be a man and say yes already! <laughs> uh, sorry, yes, yes, yes! あ、そうだね。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> I kind of understood what Kaede was trying to say. I think that's because we have such a strong bond between us. But when we get out of here, I might want to take this even further. <laughs> Holy shit. I think I fell in love with myself. Oh, he... That was really good. Uh, that's way better than anything Danganronpa 2 popped out. <laughs> yeah. That's by far like one of the most like wholesome romances from the series. Ah, that felt good. Just doing like a rom com with myself. Yeah, there was a part of me that was just like, obviously love, love, so good, and then Peter talking to himself, and then he's laughing with himself. No, man, you got. I couldn't think about that at all. You just gotta lose yourself in the. I did. I did up the, until the social link, man. Just I like started gross thinking about yourself. it. <laughs> Doki Doki. All right. It like enhances it that they have voice to them with all of their lines. Mm hmm. I saw that they want more Rontro. Um, what is that? Um, I'm missing one with Rontro. That's weird. No, I think that you're in the you're in the dating range now. So, okay. Rontro, I feel like. Oh, did Rontro not? Do a final? Uh, let me do Ronto one more time then. I got time. Maki to start. and um, Miu's also not. Yeah, I mean, it's not mean actually. I don't know. Ronto did his right. His uh, he did, I got like, a five. final speeches to Ichi and. Yeah, I, yeah. I know I got five. I saw the five, but what did I do with Gonta and because I just Kaede gave him like a, such a good gift that they went. No, over you love. fucked up on Kaede once. Yeah, yeah, but then so. I gave her like the ultimate gift, right? Which is with oh. the... So maybe it's almost like he did plus I got more extra. Than... But you didn't do anything uh. special for Gonta, so... It's like you just gave him ties! Honest. I know, but that's his favorite thing! <laughs> I don't know, let me ask... Let me ask Monokuma. Maybe he might give me more instructions. I know like the top half is supposed to be like the dating point, so does that mean that you just got like... Immediately got... Keep going? Credit into the dating range? I guess You max so. that out and you get their ending. Oh, I haven't taken anyone out on a date yet. Yeah, I thought those pink, the pink range is supposed to be your date points. So you basically have to oh. keep dating them until they max out completely. Also, if someone invites you on a date, you should go, even if you're not dead into them. It won't cost you a ticket, it won't take too long, so it's not waste your time. <laughs> Do your best, Romeo. Okay, so. Yeah, Wait, halfway wasn't just though. like halfway with friendship fragments. Like halfway was like just being done with friendship fragments. Then yeah, so be done with friendship fragments, and then you can move on to the dating uh, oh. section of for them. Okay, so I should probably focus on getting everyone at least to the the, the dating top. part. Yeah, the yeah, dating so pink you're part. You're trying to get push them into the yellow range because it looks like i have to, i have to do like another like four hearts or four dates to get to the yeah. yellow which is i assume the final scene with them okay then we will do then himiko kokichi let's do let's do ryoma then next as well okay that sounds good himiko Jesus Christ. Hey, Shuichi. Skip all those <laughs> other losers and hang out with me. What's up? Looks like you you got something to say. What would you like to do, Ryoma? 
How about I hang out? If you've got if you got complaints about me, I'll sit quietly and listen to them. Dunga. But it's too late to change my ways now. Oh, whatever. <laughs> whatever, dude. Shut up. I remember when I was your age. Oh god. <laughs> I was so naive back five, then. Five months ago. <laughs> I was born on January. <laughs> <laughs> My birthday's on December 31st. <laughs> Alright, here's a crack of tennis balls. Nice. No, not tennis. I can't play tennis again. Oh, you're giving that to me? What's your game? I'm not sure if you're being a punk uh, or just nosy, like but I'm not accepting that. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Why'd you slap me? Oh, okay. I forgot. I'm sorry. You hate tennis now. I just thought maybe, no, you know. No, not tennis. <laughs> Yamate! Alright, yeah. Oh, I don't need anything. I'm good. I'm fucking rich. Uh, yes, I would like to use love key. Thank you. Ryoma! Ryoma! Kyo again. <gasps> oh, yes! I think I'm gonna cry. I had a lot of fun today, Shuichi. <laughs> Aww. Aww. What kind of fantasies does Kai think about? This is getting awkward. What am I supposed to do? Uh, um. Uh, yes. Do you remember what today is? Today, today, um... So you don't remember. I kinda had that feeling. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Hmm. No, you don't need to apologize. My friends told me boys are like this. She put her hands on her hips and pouted at me. Today is our anniversary. You know, when we started dating. Uh, anniversary? That's right, today's very important. Ah, oh, I see. This is Kaede's fantasy. That must be why she's talking like this. Yeah. Since it's our anniversary, I want you to say it, Suichi. Say what? Uh, oh, mm, God, Suichi. I was the one who confessed to you, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Kaede, but I honestly don't know what you want me to say. Mm. Mm. Oh, no. Did I make her mad again? Yeah. How long will I have to wait before you call me something other than just Kaede? Something other than Kaede? Nah. <laughs> call me like, like Himiko brother. or something. <laughs> oh god. Sweetie? Um, uh, uh, <laughs> say it. <laughs> uh, 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 sorry. Um. <laughs> I can't fucking do it. <laughs> uh, it's, 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 sweet, sweetheart. Kaede, are, are you okay? I, I, I'm not okay. Hearing that took me by surprise. Big booty bitch. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> But you went back to calling me Big Booty Bitch again. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Force the habit. It's it's fine. I really like it when you call me Big Booty Bitch. <laughs> that simp side of yours. I knew it. <laughs> Jeez, don't get all quiet on me. I'm super embarrassed now. Without a word of warning, the blushing Kylie took me in her arms. <gasps> Whoa! Kaede, wait! Careful! As Kaede leaned into me, I lost my balance and... <laughs> he like shifts his pelvis away from her. <laughs> yeah, break my dick. When I opened my eyes, I found Kaede on my lap, both of us sitting on the bed. Uh, Kaede, sorry, this is a bit... Uh, we're in bed. Uh, not like I would try anything. Suichi. <laughs> Yes? Hug me. What? Like this. 
She whispered in my ear and squeezed me tighter. Makuro Makasabe. <laughs> Slowly, I put my arms around her, <laughs> pulling her in gently. Matching my movements, she drew her body closer, pressing herself against me. Kaede's warmth was speaking to me, and my whole body was listening. Yes, Kaede. シュウイチ君のも聞こえるよ。私の大好きな旋律。どんな曲よりも優しくて温かくて力強くて、私を包み込んでくれて勇気をくれるんだ。シュウイチ君は超高校級のピアニストよりも上手に私の心を奏でられ
Well, why'd you come to talk to me? You probably just want to hear about how I took down the Mafia, right? Uh? What? That's not what I was planning at all. Really? You've got a nosy looking face. Are you worried about whether or not I still care about tennis? For some reason, that's another thing busy bodies seem to care about. Yeah. No, I really wasn't trying to. Uh, I was just wanted to talk to you, Ryoma. Is that so? No, oh, God. So, I was the only one who was worried. I've still got a ways to go. Well, to be honest, I can't say they have no interest in your ultimate talent. Well, to be uh, that is honest. Aren't you a detective? Such honesty might be might seem as foolish, you know. Might <laughs> might be seen as foolish, you know. Hmm. I suppose that's true. Yes. But out of respect for your honesty, I don't mind talking about tennis for a bit. Really? Uh. That's what I said. Didn't you hear me? Mm. No. Really? <laughs> <laughs> what should I talk about specifically? Hmm. We almost looked downward in contemplation, yet his expression remained happy. It seems as though Ryoma hasn't lost his passion for tennis. He puts on an act like it's not a big deal, but clearly, he must really be struggling. How about you tell me a little bit about your friends from the tennis club? My friends from the tennis club? The one that sticks out the most is that one guy. No, don't say Momoshiro, not from the anime, I swear <laughs> to god, I'll punch you. Who? Uh. No, Tezuka! I, I tamed Captain. I do regret <laughs> that I was never able to break his zone. <laughs> no, it's just like the anime! His, his zone? Like the Tezuka zone? Let's oh. go where he can stay in a single spot and continually return the ball. Oh no. Huh? Whoa, you can do that? <laughs> Not me. Our captain was the one who could do that. I was called an ultimate, but compared to them, I've still got a ways to go. There was also an upperclassman in the club who was considered a genius. <laughs> no, not Fuji. <laughs> Why? He developed counter moves that only he could possibly pull off. Oh he was always God. smiling, but you could never quite tell what he was thinking. Yeah, just tell me all the carriages in Prince of Tennis already. Yeah. Speaking oh, of that, no. there was another upperclassman. Oh, he made no. us drink these he weird knew. drinks. It was so nasty, I thought I was going to die. Uh, it was that bad, huh? Uh. He said they were made of vegetable juice, but anyone could tell they weren't normal. Mm. I, I see. Your school had some unique players. Hmm. Uh. I suppose. It certainly wasn't boring. But it's a place that I've got nothing to do with anymore. Ryoma. I was talking too much. You probably got bored listening. Sorry I wasted your time. See ya. Uh, okay. Oh, right. My bad about earlier when I said you had a nosy looking face. That's yeah, Ryoma. It doesn't bother me a bit. Hmm. Is that so? Well, see ya. I can't believe he named off three characters from Prince of Tennis. <laughs> like, literally, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I watched Ryoma walk away and returned to my room. Watched, started watching Prince of Tennis and realized that he's lying to me this entire time. Oh. You son of a bitch. Man, yeah, we no could make a game and make our characters do anime references. <laughs> At this point, might as well. <laughs> Where? No. Just cherry pick like one character from a bunch of different series and then make them they like, interact with each other Pretty under much. different names. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm not a spy. Yep. <laughs> Magic. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> 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 That's really good. 
Uh, <laughs> Wait, it came in my ears so smooth and loud and clear. <laughs> that um, came from somewhere deep within. <laughs> Channel your inner Himiko. It's like give you the spell book. Oh, I need one more. Hmm, yes, this will do. Now my NP can recover. Well, it's still not enough to power a big spell. Himiko, does something have to tell you, no matter what happens? What? D don't tell me you fell for me. No, it's not that. It's something about your master. Huh? Oh, yeah. well, you hit it. <laughs> <laughs> My master? Yes, I was thinking about your story. Perhaps your master is training in secret, so that he can perform with you again. Himuko's face didn't change. She must be thinking the same thing. Maybe just hoping. You might be right. That's what I think. Um, why did you say it like that? I mean, I guess it sounds detective-y. I guess I could have worded it a little better. Yada yada. Oh, <laughs> whatever. I don't care if you make assumptions. I can't even find my master using my magic. That's probably because he doesn't want me to find him. Like you said, maybe there's a reason. Maybe he's training in secret. I thought of that too. That's why you're focused on improving your magic. Huh? Yeah. Your master is polishing up his magic too, Himiko, to perform with you again. That's why you need to continue working hard as a magician. Magic tricks are what connect you to your master. That must be why she's never too lazy to do magic. Am I wrong? Yeah. You're wrong. Huh? It's not magic tricks. It's real magic. Uh, sorry. You're right. Real magic. Yada yada. Jeez, <laughs> when will you get that? Get it. Well, anyway, we have to get out of here soon so you can perform together. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't believe you made it to the fucking end, Himiko. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Himiko, thank you. Himiko and I both focus on the same goal, getting out of here. It's because of our bond that we can stand together like this. If I put my trust in this bond, I know we can overcome anything. <laughs> or just pure luck. It's pure fucking luck we made it to the end. Abracadabra. That's a Pokemon. Freesha Vakadoo. <laughs> Where's your do? Oh, oh, oh they like the kind nice. of like old, <sighs> like fluffy underwear. <laughs> They're bloomers. Bloomers, that's the word. Uh, I still have time. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, I think I saw Kokichi over here. What's up, my boy? What? <laughs> Huh? You really want to pick me? You must be a weirdo if you want to choose a liar like me. I think it's been a while since I voiced Kokichi. Do you want me to teach you how to get good at lying? Then leave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll turn you into an excellent liar within an hour. Kokichi spent a good amount of time teaching me how to, perf to be a perfect liar. Yep. Great. Yep. I believe I was gifting you doom chairs. And I still have enough doom chairs. D -d doom mm. This is a pretty decent present, Suichi. Are you starting to get me now? <laughs> <laughs> it feels good to know that you thought long and hard about what tribute to give me. Hey, Suichi, let's have a proper battle today. So how about we play a game called The Burning Apology? Uh? The Burning Apology? Mm. Yep. Beg me not to kill you while kneeling on a burning hot metal plate. 
If you really want to live, then I know you can do it. I can't do that. I would die. And that doesn't sound like a game. Huh? Ah, so you figure it out. Of course I figure it out. Then how about the steam beam walk? Steam beam walk? Uh, you walk across a thin steel beam and make it to the end without falling. Then you win. Ah, uh, that sounds all right. By the way, the beam is placed between two buildings. There's also electricity involved. And of course, you plan on crossing it in as well? Of course I'm going to cross it. I'm pretty confident when it comes to balancing. But that's a lie. So no, I won't go. He's putting a lot of effort into messing with me. Is there something else we can do? Uh, I want a game of life or death. Kokichi, these challenges. The idea is that if I win, I don't die, correct? Yuppers! And? Then why are we both risking our lives? Nah, who cares? We're gonna die anyway someday. This just changes the timing a little. <laughs> I'm the supreme leader of evil. I'm used to risking my life. But you don't do any steel beam walking. <laughs> of course! What I said was a lie. I'm used to it at this point. So then, how about we just do a simple game of rock, paper, and scissors? Rock, paper, scissors? Isn't that all luck? <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's so fun. Suiji, good luck on surviving. Yes. Okay, here I go. Rock, paper, scissors, gun! Oh. We both put out the same thing. Mm. I see. Again. Alright, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, nuke! The same again? <laughs> <laughs> How long are you going to prolong your life, Suichi? Rock, Paper, scissors, nipple twister! Oh wait, you don't have any nipples. What the fuck? <laughs> oh no. Yes. Okay, one more time. Rock, paper, scissors! The same again. Oh. Ugh, I'm so bored now. This is the bajillion time we tied. Suichi, please just finish me. I, I mean, finish it up. Yep. There's not really anything I can do. Gee. Fine then, we're done for today. Congrats, Suichi. You're still alive. Oh yeah, by the way. Uh -huh. Did you know there's a way to throw the same thing on purpose in rock, paper, scissors? Uh. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What was what Kuichi was doing? So that he wouldn't win? But what would be the point of that? <laughs> you only have two events left. I hate lies and jokes. But I'm lying. So you just have good luck, Suichi. We got the same thing a hundred times. That's just not luck. <laughs> ha! Maybe your detective intuition is getting more precise. Well, you're the ultimate detective. <laughs> Still, next time we meet will be your last. Enjoy the little time you have left, Suichi. Oh, but I still gotta date you and stuff and get you all the way to the top of that list. Mwah. 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 Mm-hmm. Mwah. Ba -da. Shit. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -da. Yes, I would like to leave. <laughs> you can't leave. Then your money. Okay. Eat my six. <sighs> Gotta spend my money somehow. Chug, 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 chug. Right. You see, you get one. I use at one the end per of every day. day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm just loading up for the next cycle, pretty much. Ooh. Ooh. Haven't thought about you in a while. I wonder how it would be with Kurumi. I don't know if she has any weird fantasies. There it is. Of course is. she does. Master Shuichi. Huh? Me? Yes, of course. Uh, I was confused because you called me master. Because you are my master. 
I, Kirumi Tojo, will offer everything that I have to Master Shuichi. This is Kurumi's fantasy? I'm part of her dream? It seems as though we have a servant and master relationship. In any case, I can't break character now. Kurumi will wake up from her dream and feel terrible. I can't let that happen, so for now I'll play along. Master Shuichi, I must tell you something today. What is it? I was employed by the master, your father, for a very long time. However, that ends today. I will leave the mansion tomorrow. Uh? What? Why this all of a sudden? That is because... <sighs> Shuichi, will you promise me something? What I'm about to tell you must remain here, my secret. Kurumi's voice became gravely serious. Mm. Alright, I understand. I promise. I nodded firmly. <sighs> Thank you very much. I am convinced you out of all people will keep the promise, Master Shuichi. Definitely, since you are the man I love. Uh? I'm what? The man you love? Eh. I mean every word of it. Although I am the ultimate maid, I do not know how to handle my own emotions. Krumi looked more fragile than I've ever seen her before. To be honest, when I first laid eyes on you, I was quite worried about your well-being as the heir to the Saihara family. I knew it was my destiny to nurture you and help you grow. I know I have not fulfilled my destiny yet, but somewhere along this path, I became attracted to you. The generous smile you showed to the weak, your wisdom as the ultimate detective. Although you are still unsure of your role, you have the courage to move forward. But most importantly, with your kindness, you treat me as an equal. And that is a problem? I don't understand, Kurumi. I see you as my equal, and a woman who... You mustn't. Please do not say such a thing. What? You must remember your duty. You are the heir to the Saihara family. This is what I have feared. My feelings will hinder you. They will pull you away from your destiny. My love will become a bad influence to you. That is why I must leave. My pride as a maid forces me to. Wait a minute. I was just going to call you my big booty bitch. I, I, I don't understand. I must go. <laughs> what? Your feelings of respect and love for me can never be a bad thing. I won't let you talk that way, Karimi. Master Shuichi. Kurumi didn't say anything for a while. However, <laughs> uh, the calm, perfect composure she always kept began to crack. As teardrops fell freely from her eyes, she cried as a child would. <laughs> Kurumi. I reached out to her shaken shoulders and held her tight, cradling her. Oh god, not that fucking sound play, please. <laughs> of course, Miss Mrs. President. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, Miss Prime Minister. <laughs> yes, yes, of yes. Shit. Shit, I'm okay with this. She's so pretty. Even though she's crying. God damn, that was really fucking sad. <laughs> yeah, it was. I kind of missed our fucking like bullshit love key uh, scene, so. We had Kaide and then Kurumi back to back. Wholesome and sad. Jesus Christ. My heart's still full though. It's gonna be full for like a long time now. Where's it's the too good. Where's the funnies? <laughs> I came here to laugh. Not Someone to step on my balls or something. What the That's fuck? Real That's Ryoma. Hey. There's your boy. There's nothing funny about me though. 
<laughs> Except for this height. Yeah. <laughs> no way you came to invite me. You probably won't have any fun, you know. Uh, okay. If you're fine with that, then I won't stop you. Take this fucking cigarette. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, he just says blank stare at me. Have a cigarette. Hmm. Hmm. Not bad at all. Sometimes even I want to feel happy. So, I'll accept this. Thanks. <laughs> What's up? I don't think there's anything for us to talk about. Yeah. No? Well, I know that Ryoma has lost his passion for tennis. After listening to the way he talks about his old tennis friends, I'm sure of it. Maybe I can help Ryoma accept his feelings. Hey, what's the matter? Uh, I was just thinking about how fun your tennis stories are. I'd like to hear more. You actually enjoy those? <laughs> what a strange guy. All right, so episode 24. God damn it. <laughs> we talked about my tennis friends. What else did you want to hear? Uh, maybe you have some stories about your rivals. God damn it. <laughs> my rivals. Oh, no. I don't know if I'd call them that, but there were some people. Do you remember the captain I talked about last time? Hi, Tesco Kunimitsu. The That's guy the who one. used that zone technique. There's a guy who beat him. What? His zone was broken by a Toby Kago in episode wow, 68? Shui <laughs> Shuichi's totally just been converted to a Prince Tennis fan. I knew it. Yeah. He used a <laughs> technique called insight to see his opponent's weakness. He made full use of this technique to beat his opponents down. He was feared as the king of the courts. <sighs> king. And I, the uh, Prince of Tennis. <laughs> There were others with crazy nicknames like Child of God and oh, Emperor. God damn it. Child of God? Emperor? There are tennis players like that? And you were all middle schoolers? Uh, fuck yeah. Yeah, the Child of God's aura was a real pain. Sure it was. All five of my senses were stolen. In the end, I couldn't even stand. Your senses were stolen? Uh. Oh god. The Emperor's special technique was called Furin Kazan. Kazan. I faced it once, but then he unleashed his true power, and it became Furin Kain Zanrai. <laughs> I like how his character isn't even a character; it is literally just it's a fan's <laughs> recollection of Prince of Tennis. I hate this. Yeah. You need all those secret techniques for tennis. We'd all give everything we had. Being defeated only made us stronger. That was the type of world I lived in. It must have been a lot of fun. Fun? What is that word? <laughs> Why do you think that? I don't know. Peter grew up watching fucking Prince of Tennis as a kid. I think I've always score on anime list. Yeah. <laughs> well, because you looked like you were having a lot of fun telling that story. <laughs> You're right. I can't say it was boring. But that's an old story. Well, that's enough. If I talk anymore, I'll start to remember things best forgotten. What am I saying? <laughs> it's not like me to get so emotional. Anyway, see ya. Oh, <laughs> I wanted you to talk more about Prince of Tennis with me. Alright, so season two, episode three started <laughs> a little bit something like this. I watched Yama walked away, dejected, and returned to my room. Okay, so I'm done with Himiko, I believe. I only need a one more for her. I wonder what it's gonna look like if she's gonna be above the list or just add it. Hmm. Add it. Uh, just add it. Nice. I wonder what happened. I don't know. Hmm. Weird. It All must right. be the like some kind of point system with the gifts and the responses or something yeah i guess so all right well i guess i can start kirimi now since himiko's done we'll knock out kokichi real quick though he just needs one more 
What's up, bitch? What? Huh? You really want to pick me? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> One more doom chair. God damn, another doom chair? I have to throw on my bed to fit all these fucking chairs. I'm glad you came, Suichi. Remember, today's your last chance, okay? I see Kokichi is just as chipper as usual. I don't know why when he's being serious or when he's toying with me. Which is it? Yes. Yes. Now it's time for the final game. It's this. Ta-da! Uh. Whoa! A knife? What are you? <laughs> <laughs> don't get so antsy. Don't worry, it's only for the game. You know what the knife game is, right? It's stab Suichi. <laughs> the knife game? Hold on. Place your palm on the table with fingers apart. With the knife, stab between your fingers. <laughs> what? That's a, that a fucking that fucking sound effect. What? That's so dangerous. Oh, that was from the game? Yeah, that was the game. That's interesting. This will be today's challenge. This is fitting for the final game, isn't it? Yeah. But this is really dangerous. What if we get hurt? Mm -hmm. Hmm? What are you talking about? Suichi, if you lose... You'll be beyond just injured, you know? You'll die. Kokichi's demeanor has changed. He seems far more serious now. I'll make the first move, okay? Kokichi spread his fingers on the table, then lifted the, the knife. i had never seen Kokichi so serious before. Is this what an ultimate supreme leader looks like? Yes. I'm ready! <laughs> Oh my god, you just gotta let it fucking go. Dude, Kokichi's he's so he, oh he's so god. fast. If he can do that. Uh, ow! K Kokichi! Blood oozed from Kokichi's hand. I sprung into action and grabbed his wrist and popped his finger into my mouth. <laughs> you don't have to keep going. Stop. Just stay still. I'll get it. I found a nearby first aid kit and clumsily tended Kokichi's cut. And all the while, Kokichi was... Laughing. Laughing as if he was having the time of his life. Okay, I think that's good. What do you think? Yeah, it wasn't a deep cut, so that would do. Thanks for treating my injury, Suichi. But... Ah, oh, man, you lost! Or I lost! Congrats, Suichi! You win! But I didn't do it yet. I'm still the winner? Well, I messed up. So yeah, you win by default. Plus, I already filled my objective. Objective? To kill you, Suichi. But I'm alive. I made your heart die with worry, didn't I? What? <laughs> After I said I'd kill you, I was on your mind the whole time, right? You thought about whether or not I was serious or why I would say something confusing. Yeah, even now, you're concerned about me from the bottom of your heart. <laughs> oh. What a... What a power move. Bring on the fan art. What does that even mean? Why did you say that? Because that was a lie. I never wanted your life to begin with. And like I told you from the very beginning, I'm a liar. Now give me them fucking fingers. I have nothing to say. Toying with me would be putting it lightly. I don't think I will ever come a day or there will, there will ever come a day when I truly understand Kokichi. I reached out to him. But he gobbled up my fingers. In his own way, I think that helps me understand him a little. Alright, give me my fingers back. God, God damn it. Kind lie. That really OP skill that Peter's never gonna use. use. 
Fit in use. Oh wow! But,、uh, yeah, like, you never really fully understand Kokichi. Nope. Which is fitting in the end anyway. Yeah. Uh, Kirumi. I think she was back here. Kirumi. Just hanging. But it is much too early for a meal, correct? I don't care. For what? If you if you feel even a slight peckish, I will prepare a suitable meal. But I will adjust the portion so you may be able to eat for dinner. Oh damn, you're so perfect. <laughs> I ate the snack that Kirumi prepared. Kirumi and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give her a gift? I would. All right, where are the bento boxes? I think I had a couple of those. Bento, bento, bento. Even though I'm here to serve you, I cannot believe I received such a great gift. Yeah, now pack my lunch, bitch. The only way I can return the favor is to serve as your maid. Is that all right with you? Yes. <laughs> Kumi, is something wrong? I heard you sighing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> my apologies. <laughs> Oh no. oh no! What's with this change in attitude? <laughs> <laughs> It was rude to sigh in front of you.、Mm. No, I don't mind. Don't worry about it. That does make me feel better. To be honest, I am worried about something. What about? Since a part of my memory is lost, I cannot remember it clearly. Perhaps because I am trapped here, I have abandoned my master. From an employer's perspective, it would seem like I disappeared without a trace. Hmm. I suppose that is worrisome. Yes. To be unable to complete a request. Kurumi probably thinks that's unforgivable. I'm sure that all Japan depended on Kurumi to work. <laughs> I'm sure that Japan is very worried at seeing you at work. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Hey, Kurumi. If it's alright with you, could you tell me a little bit more about Japan? I'm interested in hearing what kind of work the ultimate maid has done in the past. Since it is confidential, I cannot tell you much. But according to my memories, the last person I served was an author of light novels. Oh no! Is it the same one that fucking Sumigi read? I see, an author. How quaint! A maid that waits on an author. He had so many ideas, but he was in turmoil because he could not write them all. So I offered advice on writing quickly.、Hmm. After listening to me, he was able to publish a novel per month.、Whoa. He was quite grateful. One per month? How is he able to do that? Before him, I served a politician from a foreign country. I served as his maid, but I also acted as his mentor for Mahjong.、Uh? A politician <laughs> needed a mentor for Mahjong. <laughs> The country had a peculiar system. They decided everything with mahjong. The person I served won against all his rivals and became the prime minister. So Kurumi also watches anime, huh? Weird. That's amazing, Kurumi. Just taking fucking storylines from other animes, just like Ryoma. I complete requests as a maid would do, which is why, if I serve you. Then you will able to walk the same path of success. Huh? Me? Shuichi, I see potential in you. Similar to the people I have served in the past, perhaps you are a diamond in the rough. If I support you, then maybe you can become more successful.、Mm. I choose my own path. I'll be just fine, even without your help. That is stupendous, Shuichi. You never fail to take action for your own responsibilities. It urges me to support you even more. Ah,、uh, yeah, support me, girl. Level two. Kimi spends the time with me, trying to get me to see my potential. You can be the truly ultimate simp. Th thanks, Kimi. Damn. 
No, I don't want anything. Get out of my face. Ah, okay. Left key. <laughs> oh, baby, it's time. It's time. The luminary of the stars. <sighs> Here we go. Let's let's end this video off with a bang. Expect fireworks, baby. What kind of fantasy does Kaito have in mind? I'm nervous, but I want to know. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't run off with your tail between your legs. Huh? I don't know. We've each got 99 wins now, so this will decide the true winner. <laughs> now, let's end this. <laughs> Wait, what? This is what Kaito had in mind? What kind of role do I play in this fantasy, exactly? Uh, um, w we each have 99 wins? Was I in some kind of competition? What, are you looking back on things before the final battle or something? The first time we met, it was in the sky. The sky? I'm Kaito Mamota, Luminary of the Stars! I decided that before I entered the vast universe, I'd conquer the blue sky. And there you were. I was there? What in the world am I supposed to be? You, Shuichi, are a pigeon. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> you were an hot oh, boy boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> you were the one I chose. We didn't even know each other's names during our first airplane race. Ah, I see. We're pilots or something. Kaido's fantasy is just as eccentric as he is. No. It was the beginning of a heated battle over who was the fastest and coolest. <laughs> but I never dreamed our battle would last this long. Ah, so we both won the air race 99 times. And the next race is winner take all. Pretty much. There's no more extra innings, you got it? Yeah, this is it. Kaito? Something wrong? Yeah. It's just... Honestly, I feel like it's a waste to put an end to our fight. I wish these days could last forever, you know? Kaito... What if we kept racing forever? I'm sure some races would be fun. Others bad. But somehow I know that we will always enjoy them together i feel the same way kaito i love flying with you it's like even though we're rivals our hearts are one i like that but one way or another this has got to come to an end Jesus. <laughs> this <laughs> That's I think I think that was just a normal line. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got confused for a second. <laughs> what's up with you, man? Where's your what's where's your fire? This is gonna be our final race. Come at me with everything you got. Y yeah, right. It's just that uh, I don't know if I can get excited about this. It's not as if we can actually fly. No, you don't get it. What? In a heartbeat, I found myself backed up against the wall, his presence overwhelming me. Kabe <laughs> don't. Are you really gonna are you really gonna go into our final race like that? Kaido ah. shouted and slammed his palm against my my head, staring into my eyes. What's the matter? Where's that determined glare of yours? Yeah. Kaito you I barely imagined me his gaze he felt so close looking down at me that's when I remembered where I was and uh, Ka Kaito but back up a little his my eyes darted around the room focusing on that weird bed behind him I was so caught up in the fantasy that I forgot where I was for a minute but with Kaito so close to me in a place like this it's hard to stay calm no, I'm not gonna back up. What? 
You really think I'm gonna do what you say? Rather than backing off, you brought his face just inches from mine. Jeez. I know that as long as I'm here, I'm Kaito's ideal. And so I... I understand Kaito. I hold the key to your heart, but also the key to your lips. Nice. Kiss me, you fool. Kaito took a quick step back. I saw the deep breath I didn't realize I was holding. I'm sorry, Kaito. <laughs> Kaito marched to the exit and I hurried after him. If he wanted to tell me something after the race, then it's not something I can ask him. He has to tell me himself. Alright, I'm gonna win so I can finally say it to you. Uh, okay. Huh? Just okay. You guys say I won't lose or screw you. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't plan on losing. I was just curious as to what you have to say, Kaito. Didn't I say I was gonna win? So just hit me with some trash talk already. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a mess. And so we two aviators headed to one last race. Together. <laughs> I love Kaito a lot. Fuck, my asshole really hurts again. Every single Kaito time. Kaito rolls over. Mm, my asshole hurts too. too. <laughs> 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 what? It's morning already. Get, get off me, Kaito. I slept with Kaito. Uh, Was that a dream? Yeah, just a dream. He threw a hundred bucks at me and walked out of the room. <laughs> See you in the skies, pigeon boy. Flies <laughs> off. <laughs> he actually there races he me like he's in a, like a like a jet one, and I'm just like a fucking pigeon, just trying to I'm fly. Gonna win. <laughs> all right, well, that is all the time that we have for today's episode. That was very like kind of relaxing a little bit a lot of mm -hmm. like nice wholesome serious stuff happened but uh uh next time on dog robo v3 uh we'll continue on and hopefully we will uh, get more funnies uh back into these uh, episodes so uh we'll see you guys funnies. next time bye, bye.